Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to only show or display a few columns or a few rows. So in this example, it looks like I've only got a range of, all of columns up to J. It looks like all the rest have disappeared here. And the same for the rows. Anything past 6 looks like it's disappeared. And basically what I've done is hidden them. So if I tried to scroll across, um, I would scroll basically off those sheets or off the sheet. Uh, if I scroll across, and if I try to scroll down, I'll basically scroll and kind of all the rows kind of seem to disappear. Well, they're basically hidden. They're, they're, they're not gone. Uh, they're hidden. And why would I want to do this? Well, maybe I have a formula here. This is referencing cell A50, which is somewhere down here at the bottom. And I don't want people to easily go and, and see it or, or maybe change it. Now, of course, if you knew your way around Excel, you could, but this is for something where we just wanted to visually show a certain range of cells and not clutter it up with other things. So that's one way to do it, is to hide the, uh, the columns and hide the rows. Another way to do it is if we wanted to only show a couple rows or a couple cells, is maybe just to limit the amount of scrolling someone can do. So in this example, let's say that I limited the scrolling all the way up to column Z, and maybe I don't want people to go further down than column, row 25. So if I try to scroll this all the way down, you can see that it, it scrolled and kind of stopped there at row 25. And I, if I click this down arrow a couple times, you'll see it doesn't really get anywhere. And to prove another point about why it stopped, or prove another point of that it stopped, is if I click in one of the cells here, and I use the arrow button, the down arrow button, and press it a couple of times, it only stops at row 25. So the same that applies here, if I want to have only it go up to a certain amount of columns, if I scroll all the way to the right here, or I can use this arrow button to scroll, and I keep clicking it, it kind of stops here at Z, and if I put my cursor here at Y and click that cell, and use the right mouse button on the keyboard, I can only go as far as that. So that's another way to limit uh, the amount of viewing or showing only a limited amount of columns or rows is just to stop scrolling. So let's see how we can do this. Now the first example I'll show you is how to hide the columns and rows. So what I want to do is maybe I want to select a column to start with and I want to start hiding from K and on or, or anything after J. So once I select that row, you see it's kind of highlighted everything. I'll go ahead and press the control shift key and then the right arrow key on the keyboard. And now it's selected all the columns all the way to the last column that you can show in Excel. I'm going to right click that. It's still all selected. I'm going to right click it and select the hide. Now, now I've hidden it. Now you can't really see it anymore. It was basically hidden. Now I can do the same thing for the rows. And what I want to do first is maybe I want to change this commission thing. A50, I want to go ahead and go down. Let me go ahead and scroll down to A50 and maybe add something there, right? Let me add, uh, maybe add 20% or maybe, uh, maybe 15%. I put 0.15, press enter. You'll see that once I enter that there, since this particular, oops, A50, let me see. Did I enter correctly there? This is A50, oh, this is D50. <laughs> let me go ahead and delete that. Let me go to A50. So A50 is right here, 0.15, and press enter. Let me go back up. And now you can see that it's changed. Now it's changed the commission, whereas it was zero before, now it's added it. So let's say that I want to kind of hide everything from seven and down. So I can just select seven over here and it selected that whole row and use the same control shift and then I'll use the down arrow now that will select all those rows. You can see that it stopped here at row 50 because it saw a value in there. All I need to do is press the down arrow, have control shift and press the down arrow key again and it'll go to the last rows that you can use in Excel. Now, this, since I'm using Excel 2010, the last rows are a little bit over a million. So I'm going to right-click that and select Hide, and now it's hidden it. So basically now we've got our range of cells where we only want people to see. So if I click here and I try to use the down arrow to go down, it's not going to go anywhere. right? If I go click the right arrow, it's not going to go anywhere. So this is one way that we can show only a limited amount of rows or columns. So let's go to the other example, how we can do it with scrolling. So over in Sheet 4, what we want to do is we want to make sure we have our developer tab available. If you don't have this available, basically you can click in the other tabs, right click and go customize ribbon. And in the main tabs pan panel here or, or the navigation pane here, you want to make sure the developer is checked here. So once that's checked, it will go ahead and bring up this particular tab. 
And in this tab, we want to go to the Visual Basic Command icon there. And once we click on that, we want to make sure we have our Properties window available. If it's not available, you see I just closed it. You can go out there up to View and, and view the Properties window or just press F4. Now what we want to do is make sure that we want to set the scrolling feature available or the parameter for the sheet we want. So I was in Sheet 4, so if I select that, you'll see now it's kind of populated here. You can you see the drop down here that shows Sheet 4 is the only one selected. So what I want to do is I want to go to where it says Scroll Area. Now let me go ahead and close this. Let's say that I only want people to scroll up to Z, and I want people only to scroll up to row 25. So keeping that in mind, let me go back into the Visual Basic window here, and we see our property sheet for four. Let's say we want people to only scroll from A1, that's the starting cell, and we want, we want them to go as far as column Z, and as far as row 25. So once I have that available, I can just, I can just close it out. And now if I try to scroll down, let me go and scroll down, click the button a little couple times, you can see it stopped there at 25. If I, use, if I click on that cell and use the down arrow key and press it a couple times, it stopped there. Same thing's going to happen with the columns. If I scroll all the way over to the right and kind of click the arrow button, and you can see it kind of stopped there. If I press into the Y cell here and press the arrow button, the right arrow button on the keyboard a couple times, you can see that it's kind of stopped. So that is the other way to kind of limit or show only a couple rows or a couple columns that you want to be able to view. So that's another way to stop people from scrolling down. So um, now you can see that I did it before I could actually enter something in that cell. Oh, darn. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that I have to go back and undo that. We, what, it, what I can actually do is I can go up here and type in A50, which is the cell that I want to check out. Now it's going to be, it's going to show in the name box that I'm in that cell. And all I need to do is in the formula bar, type in a value. So let's say 10%. And I press enter, you'll notice that it's entered 10% in that cell A50. So now it's completed the calculation here. So let's go back to sheet three. Let's say that you want to kind of change it. You want to unhide it. So how do we do that? So basically it's the same thing. We'll select that and we can kind of pretend that we're going to left select and kind of go over to the right and pretend that we selected all the cells, all the column cells here and un, uh, right click it and then click select the unhide and we've unhidden it. So we're going to do the same here. We can kind of select or we can just choose the last two rows. We can do the same here instead of just one row. We can select the last two rows and go all the way down. Pretend we're going all the way down. Right click and go unhide and it will unhide all those rows. So that's that's how we can uh, adjust that if we wanted to change and hide different amounts of rows and columns. So that's how we show only a couple rows and a couple columns so you can limit the views for the your spreadsheet. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.